Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about SAP Embedded Learning or SAP Simulations in general. Have you ever wondered how you can try out an SAP system for free without crashing the SAP system? without making any errors, that's now the case, dude. So here right now, within this site, within SAP Companion, supported applications and content scenarios, there you can get a simulation, an SAP simulation of this product about different process. So here basically, um, I will link the, I will share the link in the video description for sure. But as you can see, you have a lot of the yeah, step by step guides, uh, tutorials, different information about so many SAP solutions. So just have a closer look SAP Ariba, SAP Business by Design, SAP BTP. Uh, for example, Concur, for example, SAP S4HANA, uh, Signavio Solution Manager and a lot more. And here, for example, um, you can yeah, try out different processes, different scenarios. So here you have some kind of simulation. So we can um, basically will be guided to uh, click on a yeah, simulation within a different SAP solution and learn a different process yeah step by step and of course you can also download the tutorials via pdf and then read through it but this is totally for free and you don't need any sap system and this is really great for especially sap beginners to get an overview of a different sap solution or for example for an expert to learn different and new processes so yeah here uh, on the side you have as mentioned uh, helps guided tours and simulations tutorials and for example if we click on sap business technology platform then you can see based on different products what is basically available so if you have some context helps if you have some guided tours if you have some as mentioned simulations or tutorials and so on so yeah this is um, I think really really useful and especially if we have a look on the SAP BTP and then there is one simulation available and once you click on the access learning link then you will be rooted on the education side of SAP and there you have a folder structure. So here you're right now you can see uh, what kind of folders are there available and for example here I would like to click, yeah, you can also click on the tree structure but I would like to go through this simulation and click on advanced financial closing. And within here, within this folder, you can see what kind of simulations are available. So here you can define a user group, you can manage closing task lists and so on. And here you can see based on the asterisk, on the star, what is new. And for example, if there is an updated content, so you can directly see what is new, what you should set a focus on. And, and for example, let's uh, dive into this. Let's show the simulation, what is look like. And here, for example, we would like to define a user group. So therefore I click on this. And then within here, you can see the progress bar. So basically how many tasks are there you have to do. Uh, here, as mentioned, you can yeah, um, create a shareable link. You can uh, add a bottom bar if you like to. You can get a help. And if you would like to exit this training, then you can also click on the cross. Uh, here you can also see some kind of release information if you like to, but as mentioned, this is totally created by SAP Enable now to share this. And um, you have basically within here two possibilities. You can start the tutorial and here you can see what is basically the estimated time. So how long does it take to go through this tutorial? Um, approximately two minutes. Or as mentioned, you can also uh, click on the open PDF PDF document and once you've done this then you can see all the steps we're going to do in the simulation in a PDF and this is so amazing if you just would like to go through it really quickly what is going on or for example if you would um, yeah go through it once again or just um, put it in your uh, 
mind once again to yeah, get a really quick overview what this tutorial is about. This is, I think, a really good knowledge resource. Let's go back to the SAP Enable now about this simulation. As mentioned, if you click on Start Tutorial, you will start the simulation. Then, basically, yeah, you see um, a yeah, different possibilities, and here you see a pop-up, and yeah, there you will get some instructions or some help text what this task is about. Here right now we are in the SAP Fiori launchpad, um, shown by different tiles, different Fiori apps, and our task is now to create user groups, and you have to follow this interactive tutorial, and therefore you can click on this next button to go to the next um, task also shown on the progress bar and here highlighted you can see that we have to click on this configuration tile and that is what we're going to do and then we're going to the next task now we have uh, to click on the user groups so we click there and then yeah you will be routed to um, the next view and what is really great so for example here as highlighted we have to click um, there in this yellow um, frame but for example if you click on here then you will directly uh, see yeah kind of like error message or warning message that this is not the right uh, path to this tutorial and it should rather use the highlighted one and um, if you need some help you can also click on show guidance to yeah you have more highlighted version and then if you click on this one then you will go to the next um, task here right now I have to uh, type in fin close hit the enter key and within here financial closing group as a description once again enter i click on add and now i have to select or add the users therefore i select the needed users and click on add and as mentioned, uh, you will see all the pop-ups, all the yeah um, windows appearing as you would do this within a SAP system. And you can't really crash this. So uh, yeah, as mentioned, we go now got a, a success message and uh, we have successfully created the user group. And now we can return to the launch pad. And here you can see that we have successfully created a user group and ended the tutorial. So therefore I click on there. And now, as mentioned, you're done. You have done this tutorial. Um, if you want to, you can restart it, redo it once again. Um, now um, download the PDF document or as mentioned here, we can exit the tutorial and set it to complete it. Um, as mentioned here, you have so many tutorials, just go through it. Um, I think my recommendation is to go to SAP S4 HANA, for example, the cloud version, Access Learning. And then here right now you see a lot of tutorials, for example, getting started tutorials. So here working with the launchpad in general, um, if you're not that familiar with SAP Fiori launchpad, um, how, here you will learn how to um, use the SAP Fiori launchpad or uh, as mentioned, how you can personalize it. So now the estimated time, start tutorial, and here you will see exactly what you have to do. And of course you can just uh, click through it, but um, I can recommend to read this instruction text really closely because you would like to learn um, within this tutorial uh, anything and yeah this is I think so helpful of course it can't replace uh, working on a real SAP system I think that's that's crystal clear but within here you have a really easy and a guided tutorial to basically see and uh, get a feeling what a SAP solution is about what does it look like and so on i can really recommend to try out sap embedded learning sap simulations so thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel to support my work and to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video